Good afternoon, everyone. It's Bart and Stacy from The Sound Couple, and we are headed off to another... Wedding. A wedding at a place it's been a couple of years we've been at, but today we're going to be interfacing with their house system, and today it's going to work out for real. <laughs> you we've mean been there before. Last year. It's, that's how they typically do things there. And I've noticed uh, at some of these wedding venues, Stacy, that is, I think is becoming more common, and it makes a lot of sense. They typically want people out of there pretty quickly, and they don't have a lot of lead time. So us to interface with their system, which we've done before, makes a lot of sense. It makes our jobs easier. This, this venue is on the fringe of downtown, so it's within the sound couple acceptability zone. <laughs> Very close. In other words, we don't do street load-ins in downtown Minneapolis or St. Paul anymore. We're expecting a pretty easy load-in. Hopefully there's a parking spot left. We're off to a little bit later start that we want, but they do have a few spaces. If we can do a street loading, we're just loading in monitors and lights and setting up and ready for tonight's event. So we'll see you guys at the gig. And here's the venue right here, and let's hope there's a spot. It's looking pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, there's a couple left. Yeah, all right. We got lucky. Our goal here is to make it all in one trip. But that might be impossible because we now have three carts and two people. Three carts and two people? Well, we got our infamous train. What are you talking about? It's starting to feel like a production gig. Oh. Don't want to knock you over. Hey, this is what we're looking like. How many carts we got, Stacy? We got three. Looks familiar, doesn't it? And the building is right there. We gotta go around and there's the front door and we go all the way to the back once we're inside. So we'll show you the room once we get in. So the load in here is not terrible. We have loaded in from the street here in the past. We saw Stacy just pulling in. We got kind of a matrix to go through here with all the tables and the flower people are setting up. And it actually looks like there's a stage, which is new, or we haven't been in here before with the stage. We're way back on the other end of the room. We able to get through? Yeah. Okay. Now I am. Okay, I'll be right there. Pretty room though. Here we got everything loaded in in short order. This time we have a stage. It looks like a 16 by 16. So each one of these is four. So four times four is 16. And there's two here. Over here is where we tap into their system. We've typically always gone on that side, but we've never had a stage either. There's their system, it's a JBL rig. What are these? And they're kickout feeds for the monitor position on the cabinets. There yeah. are two. There are two, but we can get by with just <laughs> one. I mean, if it was an install or something like that, or they were full time, they don't, the bags won't fit over them with the legs kicked out, <laughs> bottom line. And we also do this to save time at the end of the night. <laughs> we used to have uh, the JBL Eons, the old school Eons, which were super tippy on the stage. And those would just flop right over if, <laughs> if they were knocked or even on a wobbly stage, they would sometimes just fall over on their own. So we're long ways from that. Well, one thing we use for our monitors quite often for power is this stringer here, uh, this extension cord with a bunch of outlets strung throughout. 
and that works that works really well actually but today we are going to just since we got kind of a short stage with a lot of monitors close together we're going to just go off power strips here so i got run ran over over there to the outlet and then this one apparently stacy already ran it or she set it here so we'll put we'll put this guy right here over here and so we'll split power between the two far monitors over there and these two right here and we'll go I guess right there most likely we'll have to get another extension cord I think to to make it all the way over would you grab one of those two already no oh okay so we got options it's a lot of <laughs> kind of looks like a lot of monitors going across the front but whatever that's what we're gonna do because we're gonna have the sax player here the two lead singers in the middle and then the guitar player singer on the end okay we're doing a time check it's 249 we need to be ready to go by 4 4 30 i think that's when cocktail hour, hour starts stacy's starting the wire kind of moving a little bit slower than we normally do it feels like but we have the mains in right here i i'm assuming left to right but i'm not that worried about it but i'll probably verify once i fire up our music I have music that I know will pan left to right. So if it's not right, I'll just switch them around. And we got that coming out of the 3216. So I got ABV 55 and 56 going out of 15 and 16 for our main left and right. I can show you guys that once we get the laptop fired up. Stacy's got the lights wired. What are you working on now, stage? Or you would need me to fire up the mixer and get going right yeah. and then I can get I get all the lines laid out to run and then we're done okay we got the system just turned on we're gonna go to the splash screen here make sure we got everything so we have the two 32 16s that we got we got the SW5e and the ABBD 16 which is through our wireless mics here so all that checks out uh, and our mixer at the very top. We'll kind of go through our pre-check list. This is the inputs we're working with today. Kick, snare, hat, a couple toms, floor tom. Expecting a effects pad, bass, guitar, two, two keyboard lines, a sax, three vocals, and an MC mic. We'll go under our settings. Network clock is green. We're in 34 channel mode, that's good. Go over here and we got our two NSBs and the ABBD 16. On the 32 16s, we got 16 outputs. So one through eight and nine through 16. So 49, so this is how we configure ours. So these are all the monitor channels right here. And then 55, 56, we have patched for left and right. We'll show you that under the ABBD, ABB sends. And hello. Hey, you want me to? Yeah, uh, you can go ahead and switch it over anytime. I'll be ready in like five minutes. Get some background music you can throw on. Sure. Really anything. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And we have 55, 56, and if we had our 16 eights, we have those set up for 47 and 48. And since we got the extra eight outputs on this, we set those at the 55 and 56 for our main left and right. We'll go back here and assign our wireless mics to, to the network. I guess I could have done that. And those should be on, as always, go back here. 57, so starting at 57 is our first wireless mic. So go back, go back here. So red, and we set that to network. Go under routing, network, 57. Then we'll go to white, set that to network, and we'll go 58. And then we'll go to blue, network, 
59. And then we got an MC mic, which will go 60. So we're using all four wireless mics today. So 60. And then we'll go back and just set, okay, our gain is at negative 3.5. That's what works for us. And it looks like we're already set. I'll grab one of the mics or I'll check them all real quick. Turn these on, just make sure we got signal. That's always a good start. Red, white, Got signal there, blue, we got signal there, and then we got one more MC mic, which I left in the drawer, turn that on, make sure we have that. Okay, Stacy's running the stage and she'll set the routing on all the other ones just based on all the other inputs just based on where she ends up plugging them in. Typically though, we we always run our drums through the first. Uh, where am I? Input. We run our drums through the first. Uh, we run those on the always in the. NSB in the center, so that's where those go, and then the rest of them, looks like she's already on it. Yep, and then my question is, saxophone might need phantom power, is that yep. correct? Yeah, it does. What's going on here? And then phantom is which icon? The 48 volt. Okay. Is that, are we on that channel? Yep. <laughs> okay, is my thumb, my finger? <laughs> Uh, which there it goes uh, okay whatever okay otherwise are we good state okay that took like five minutes okay The system sounds really good in this room. This is not an acoustically an awesome room, but the system, everything I can tell, and I remember last time I had zero issues as far as fighting it at all. It sounds well-tuned and no concerns at all. Right, we got the lights rolling. We haven't mentioned this in a while. We get some varying feedback on our light controller, <laughs> Stacy. We, I guess, one thing I always think is we're kind of sound, we're a sound company first in a sense. Lighting is our adopted bastard children. So for <laughs> us, Luminaire is, in fact, just the freedom to run it on a iPad is, is gold. And so we have all of our scenes that we spent hours programming. And this is our primary scene for our lights. So we have Gosh, I don't know. I think like 70, mm -hmm. 70 or something that's listed here. On this particular On this version. iPad. And yeah. then we got our other iPads with more scenes yeah. for the other for other lighting. But this is our core light. So during the show, we just need to push the buttons. And we got some chase stuff going on. So it really, for us, this, It'd be really hard to go away from a non-tethered, a non-tethered, yeah. and just push the buttons and seize it. Okay, we're gonna start our monitor checks. I am starting with kind of a. Well, I started with the scene we used before, and we'll see. And I reset a little few things too, but we're, we'll see what this kind of sounds like. Right, oh now I turned the horn all the way down because I didn't want any issues with the preamp or what's feedback. The mic is sitting there on the floor. So we'll hop over to red. We will unmute it and see what we got. Oops, that's a problem. Okay, let's 
let's fix that. So we'll take off Miku 3, get that, and then save it. Mute group one, and we'll see what mute there, now it's right. Okay, we'll mute that, we'll mute that. The mute group three is our mains, or our subgroup mains, so we don't wanna have those on right now. Don't need them. Let's turn off that. Turn these off. I didn't touch them. Kicking off a little bit of feedback. I'll just bring these down. I should have just. It's one of those things where you try to give yourself a starting off point, but every situation is different. Let's try this again. Two, two. Check. Two. Distracting that another lot of things going in the monitors. Check, 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 check. One, two. Check, one, two. Check, one, two. Hey. Check, one, two. <laughs> two check one two check one two my starting off point didn't work today but you know whatever check one two two Check one two. Check one two. Two one two. Two, one, two, check, check, two. 
Check, one, two. Check, one, two. Two, one, two. Check, one, two. Okay, we're gonna head to the new mic. The new and improved mic. And I'm just gonna, I think I set down. Two, 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 check, check, check. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 two, two. Two, one, two, check, check, two. Check, check, two. They, they do a really nice job rejecting feedback, too. One, two. Test one two. Test one two. Check check check. Check one two. Okay, MC is up and ready to go. I'm just gonna blend the monitors and we can disinfect the microphones. And we need to check his ears. And I brought my I brought my earbuds. So we'll be able to do that. And we're using the Personas HP tonight. You guys have seen the Donners, and they are really just easy to work with. We got a couple of the Personas. And I think they're good units, but just a little bit more more to them to finagle with where the donors we just throw them up and turn them on the donors got the reach built-in rechargeable battery and with these we have to either make sure we got power which is not that big a deal but then we got to do all this business to get a battery into them they're just kind of a, a bigger pain in the ass so. They tend not to use them as much. The donors are just so fast and easy. But I'd like to just break these out. And this guy right here, we got two of them labeled one and two. And one has had some issues with some ear buds. The drummer we have tonight, I'm just going to ask him to use, start with one, and if he has any problems, just to let us know and we'll swap it out. But I got mine as well. And we've had people, so they got the stereo and mono on them. We've had people bump that. We run mono. And then they got the pan, which is cool. So the, the, feature set is really good but for a guest or somebody that's just using ears and they just want to turn them on and go there's just more that can go wrong here so they got the nice green light if it goes off so we'll if the battery gets low as it light oh and then they got a separate cable too which just another thing that could go wrong I mean, it's, it's pretty stable as long as you don't touch it. I'll link these. Uh, these are, I got these off of Amazon and they're really nice. I've, we've, they just sound awesome. Wow.
They're, these are fine, completely fine. It's the difference of headphones then. I can't hear you. It's, it's the difference of headphones then, as far as... Oh yeah, these are... Yeah, but as far as it was working. like his Oh ear. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It just yeah. seems like it depends on the earbuds. Um, this one seems to work fine with any of them. Okay. We'll keep this one off to the side. See, I just hit the power button by accident turned it on but and they're nice units don't get me wrong it's just the donner they're just so no brainer don't even have to worry about them okay so enough of that there's these are working put these away and then i just need to blend the monitors and we're done yeah. all right stacy what do we do when we're all done you mean and when we're finished monitor checking and all that yeah and bart's stuff. done putting his lips all over the mics <laughs> we do disinfectants okay so we're proving it we do yes, that we we do besides I, disinfecting after every gig we yes, yeah we, we do it during the gig and this is something we've actually not the disinfecting at the gig but it's something we've actually all done for quite a while we did a pre-covid yeah pre-covid and it was funny because the difference in the way it looks uh um, or the, the mics looked and I think well, our mics look brand new. Right. And I mean and I think we even had comments, you know, it's like this is the cleanest mic I've ever yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there is something to cleaning the mics. <laughs> yeah, they, these mics have we've had them what, four years now? Uh, yeah. Probably three, four years. And besides that, we wiped the barrel down too, right? Yes, we do. Uh, and just to mention too, because I don't think we've really shown it, we do have two different capsules for these. Right, we got the 58s and the Beta 58s. So tonight, on this mic here, we're using the Beta 58s, which the Beta 58s are a really good mic for everybody, but we're familiar with the singers tonight, and I'm thinking that a regular 58 will work better on the two singers that are tonight. And that's the beauty of working, having worked with certain musicians too, right? The beauty? Yeah, the beauty. <laughs> that's one of your favorite lines, the yes, beauty. Yeah, you say that a lot, the beauty of it. <laughs> the beauty of it. We'll go out and take a look at how everything's looking and hopefully not get struck on our music. I'll just keep talking, so it will not get struck, but I think it turned out pretty good. The stage looks clean, lots of monitors and a little space. There we go. I think we're ready. We're just even getting the MC mic. That's good. We just got some stuff to pick up here and we're waiting. We got two hours before anything starts, but the, the, the wedding party's already showing up here slowly. We are set up and the guests are arriving. And I'm going to crawl up the total trolley here and see if I can get the model on, this, on these JBLs. And if I can't, then somebody's going to have to tell me what they are. So I'm going to zoom in. Actually playing some dinner music right now. They're the mains. I assume those are matching. I'm not going to be able to get that. Typically, I'm not a huge JBL fan, but system tuning has a lot to do with it, I'm sure. But uh, these sound good. And I remember that from the last time. And it looks good too. I'm gonna go sneak up on Stacy. The very, actually, just an unimportant note here. The first time we ever played here, we played against this wall facing that way early on. And Stacy actually remembered that we got noise complaints. I don't know what that was about. It, we weren't that loud. And I don't know if there was just some issues early on or if they did some stuff to soundproof, but we're in. You know, near downtown area, I'm sure there's, well, that looks like residential right there. Maybe it's because we're pointing, pointing that way. Those people across there were complaining, but 
obviously facing this way. And maybe that was the change I made. And I don't remember actually if they even had this system in here at that time. But let's sneak in on Stacy here because I got a question. There she is. <laughs> Where is, oh, that's what I'm looking for right there. No, no, that. Your extra. Our sound couple. Yep. Have we? I don't think we've talked about those. Yeah, we got our sound couple. Uh, they're not for sale though. <laughs> but you know, we just could imagine the demand could be high for these, but. <laughs> no, looking for my coffee. Okay, uh, you can you can use this for your mix. Are the ears working okay for now, Greg? Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, what's the, what is that? Is it a time? Floor time. It's as bad as it's electronics. And then, um, the, the vocal mics are hardcore, so that's red. That'll be JC. White will be... And do you have that piece of tape, Stacy? I already gave it to him. Oh, okay. oh you got it. Yeah. So the one thing we were able to do for the photographers, that's her recorder right there, is to go out of our main outs and provide them audio for the speeches in the first dance. And that went well, but we do that a lot. And sometimes we'll go right out of the back of the cabinet. And another option is to go either from a matrix out, but the quickest, easiest way was just to go out of our main out that we already had assigned. Okay, Stacy. we just got done with the first dances or the, the grand march in the first dances. And what is our expert tip for the sound couple for weddings and first dances? I would say first and foremost, always, always talk to the photographers because- They're gonna want something nine out of 10 times. And it's no lights. Well, they don't, yeah, they yeah, don't want- Or, they, or the, if they do, just a white light, you know, or low. But tonight they told us no lights, but that's something to always clear. And these are things that are never going to be talked about prior to you showing up. The other thing to be prepared for, which I showed earlier, was to have a way that they can tap into audio and know what your plan is. And tonight we were able to go right into the channel, one of the main outs on our NSB boxes. But those are the two things that come up quite a bit. And uh, the food is coming. Hey, David, thank you. Any other expert tips from the sound couple? Um, talk to the photographer. Talk to the photographer, okay. And, and that, that makes them happen. Another expert tip from the sound couple, and that is going through the 
set list and making sure that you're doing the best you can not to play a song the band is going to play. I admit I am terrible at this. I mean, I try to do it. Sometimes I forget and I've caught myself. I think a couple weeks ago that happened where there were extras that the band ended up playing or there were songs that were requested and I saw it on the request list for DJ. I didn't notice that the band actually put them on their set list. So that was just me not paying attention, but trying not to play what they have going on, you know, what the band is playing, keeping that off your break music. There's truly no one else. I'd rather get that never-ending question of, are you guys twins? <laughs> guys say come a little closer so you can hear me um we have one thing we did tonight is we put the evn 68 out nd 68 and for this drummer and for this kit that's a better mic so the beta 52 isn't always the best mic but we had this guy a couple weeks ago and i remembered that uh, he just doesn't need the attack his kit his drum kit's got a lot of attack on the on the kick already so we went with the 868 instead and it's it's a better sounding uh it, it's working better the other thing i wanted to show you is that we're going through the house system tonight and the stage volume is pretty loud but there's a definite separation between the stage and the main floor. So if this was a situation where it was a band on complete in-ear, technically this stage should be out a little bit more because I'm getting a definite gap right in here and there's not much we can do about it. But so you can see where the array is right here. There's probably a 10 feet gap, 10 feet at least, what you think? Yeah. So, so I pretty much got the mix where I want it out there, but I don't want to spend the whole night out there. So if you noticed, maybe you hadn't, but I've been kind of migrating back a little bit just because I, I got, I know how it's sounding out there and um, I don't want to be out there. So I'm back here, but just a couple things to point out. And I think that's about it. Is there anything else I'm missing? All right, so first set down, three more to go, I think. We're going to be starting up here in about 15 minutes. I wanted to give you a quick stage tour. We are, are for the keyboard player, he is not using an amp and asked if he could, if he had ears. So that was kind of a last minute throw together that we were able to accommodate. We're just giving him our iPad mini here for his mix. So we just needed to make sure that he was in the monitors. So everybody else on stage could hear him. For the drums, we gave him Q-Mix on, on the iPhone there, so he's controlling that. We got that run in here. It's kind of cool. We got our, uh, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Let me just hit the camera off for a second. All right, so we got some light. We have on the power strip here, we got a USB charger. That's kind of cool, so we can just put that right to the phone 
And I just prefer leaving those on the chargers so we don't have to worry about them uh, running out of power. That's the other thing I just wanted to mention about supplying our own devices to people. I mean, they're stripped down. We have nothing on them. We got everything disabled. They don't have any app, apps on them. They're, the sleep is turned off. Uh, because that's kind of the things we run into some issues when we're if we're using other people's phones uh, they can they I don't know it just makes it this to me is easier some people have commented about that and I think for us it works out just providing devices the iPads and stuff up here that you see on the stage are for the musicians nothing to do with us and then we're running four mixes wedges we got which here, the two singers, and then the sax. We were getting some high squawking feedback out of this mic. We, uh, I think I found it, but it was kind of sporadic, really super high. Other than that, everything else went really smooth. Stacy is on her phone like she normally is. What do you, I, I don't even ask what she's doing. Reading. Reading. Okay. The day's going pretty fast though. We'll get out of here. We gotta get out of here in an hour. They have a, they have a hard cut. We, so I think the band is done at midnight and we have to be out of this building by one o'clock. I don't see that being a problem. Okay everybody, it is 12.49 and the stage is gone. Our gear is gone. I got one more load here. And we just got to finish packing up the truck, doing an idiot check. We're good. And then we're out of here. It's a good time tonight. Well, good timing and good time. We, it's a little, wow, looks like it's been around a while. Just making sure we got everything here, not leaving anything behind. We don't need any beer bottles, anything like that. Okay, one big more, one big push, and we're we're out. Our room can transition. Well, guys, we're back from the gig. And now for the fun stuff, while everybody else goes to sleep or stumbles into their bed, we're, we're cleaning up our mics and we're going to get things charging so they're ready for the next gig. So we have to get our mics. I didn't do this one, did I? Okay. No. Get our mics wiped down and get those charging. Swap the capsules. This one has a 58. By default, we we leave our uh, we use our whoops we use our Beta 58 capsules. And these take probably what two two hours or so to charge, depending on how low they are. I'll show you what we do with the batteries and the dongles here in just a second. Yeah, and hey, take a look at the time. It is 1.37, 1.38. We've been home for a few minutes. I actually took snapped a picture. We were uh, leaving the parking lot at 12.59. Okay, we're at Stacy's charging station. <laughs> yeah, quite the feat here, right? Of things to charge and all the chargers required yikes so for the nine volt here this is for rechargeable of triple a and double a and any other a sizes all right in let's get going here we don't have <laughs> all night <laughs> and then we already just have all of our <clears throat> donner switches hooked up so all i gotta do is bada bing bada boom Okay, Stacy, that's another wrap, another gig down in the books. I think the wedding party was extremely oh. happy tonight. Yep. The band and had and guests too. Yeah, the had good compliments. Yeah, the band had a lot of energy. They played all the right songs. Uh, there was a lot of good musicians on there tonight, and it 
it was uh, just high energy mm -hmm. and and they were ready to party and kept the uh, dance floor packed all night all the way up to the very end pretty much to the end so it was a good gig mm -hmm. for us it was it was a good gig as well from a production side i think one thing we need to just mention you're going to see in some of the videos that we've had some series of lights lighting issues and we more recently have replaced a couple of the dongles we replaced our transmitter which had a bad mm -hmm. power jack on it and we had a bad blizzard. Uh, one of the connectors XLR and the inside, the actual jack, there was a little piece that, that stuck into the back of the XLR jack. And that actually worked itself out somehow. So I think that was causing a lot of our lighting issues earlier this year. So once we nailed that and resolved that, the lights have been working great. Yeah, they have. And even I was thinking we were downtown so to speak or close to downtown. yeah we had no wireless yeah, we haven't had wireless I issues know. uh whether it's well these guys are rock solid i don't even worry about them but the ipad and the mixers mm -hmm. and our lighting has been yeah. really good lately and yeah we were pretty pretty much downtown tonight so all right i think that's a wrap uh good gig and we had fun it was loud but you know we're getting old, and <laughs> but as long as the energy is good and the and and it's not uh, causing issues with the guests, I guess it wasn't it wasn't out of control, but it was on the on the upper end of 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 the scale for sure. So all right, guys, we're gonna hit the hay, and we got more gigs as always. We always say that we got a lot more gigs coming up, and thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're if you're watching some of these videos and you're like, hey, you know, we we post as much as we can, and and love to have you on board and comment. And uh, we'll, we'll see, see you, you at, at the, the next, next gig. gig.